I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force. The reason I call it that is because we're going to pre-select categories from the card and force hands in just those categories. By randomly selecting categories, maybe one of those categories would be one that you typically avoid. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We are going to force hands in these categories, odds, evens, year. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14, and I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a joker, pair of flowers, pair west, one six bam, two three four nine in cracks, four seven eight in dots. We need to force evens odds year. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would force either two, four, six, eight, or a year hand. So I would keep those, even though we have a pair of flowers, I'd probably try to use those. We have one, six, one, eight, two, fours, and a two. So two, four, six, eight. So I would start by passing those three. All right, you ready? Let's see what happens. And I wouldn't even look at the card. You don't need to look at the card to pick a hand till you run out of discards. And right now we have four, probably six, because this most likely will go away. Well, I might, may have spoke too early. Now here's a two. We have two nines. Now is when you would look at the card because we need to decide, are we gonna play a year hand or are we gonna play evens? We have two four and cracks, two six and bams, four eight and dots. There is some potential for the big year hand in the single and pair category, but that's, that's not on the, on the board here. We need to force a year hand in that category. Singles and pairs is a different category altogether. So even though there are tiles that may fit our category in that singles and pairs grouping, that would not qualify for a winner. So because we have a pair of flowers, I would probably let the winds go. The concealed hand under the year does not use flowers. So I would probably let a two wins go with a nine. That's a little risky though. Passing two wins together is like passing like numbers. And passing like numbers is almost as risky as passing a pair. I, I put that on the same level of risk. So I probably would let something go here, like maybe this two bam. We need the six because we need a representation of every number. We have two twos right now. So I think to mitigate the risk, I would probably break up the pair of West 
and past the two. And two to nine doesn't work, so that can be passed together just fine. Oh, we got a two. Okay, but look, we got a four. And we got a wind, oh my goodness. Okay, so now, same, same idea here. I would let a two go again. We have two, four, six, four, eight. We need the six and we need that eight. Now, here we have two, four, four. We could maybe try for the second hand down though under the year or even the third hand. Maybe we should keep the two and force the year hand. Okay, so let's risk passing two wins. If you want to prioritize your own hand development, you can take on risk, but you need to count the cost. So if someone is playing a wind hand, that's gonna help them. So just think it through, count the cost, accept the consequences. We got a dragon, oh my goodness. Okay, well, that made it worth it. Cause now we could maybe play, let's see, second hand down oops we have a let's see we have a two four two four probably i would go ahead and focus on a year hand and i wouldn't pick a hand yet we need to gather more we have two flowers so there's two hands we could play maybe fours and then let's see it would be this we got work to do there. So that would be the second hand down. Oh no, no, that would be the third hand down. Okay, well let's keep going. Let's pass these three. Oh my goodness, eights. Thankfully we passed an eight. Okay, so now here though, we are still gathering two, four, six, eight. So we're right in between the two. We have one discard. Let's see, two, four, we have flowers. In the two, four, six, eight category, there are three, or actually four hands, because there's doubles. Flowers would be fourth hand down, fifth hand down, one suit and mixed suits. So let's see, two, four, six, eight, we've got mixed suits for sure. So we do have a two, let's see, two bam, eight bam. So maybe we can keep that and do four, six in the middle, but we have no six crack. That's super weak. What about a multiplication? Four, six, two, four. Four, six, two, four. So we may be able to do that one. That's the fifth hand down. Then we have six, eight, four, eight. So we have six, eight, and there's some tiles to pass. So maybe we can keep these and pass these and just see what happens. Okay, flower, dragon, that goes away. I would totally focus on a year hand. Since we have two dragons now, I think that second hand down looks good. Flowers, Kong of Twos, White Dragons, and a 2-4. So it would look like this. Two, zero, two, four. I think I would still keep these just to see what develops and let these go. A four, two discards. Two, zero, four, four, flowers, discards. No keepers. We have a great hand though going. So we would do four flowers. I'll put it in order. Kong of twos. Oh wait, I'm going, I'm playing both hands, second hand down and third hand down. 
four, four. So it would be like that. Let's say we do the third hand down, pair of flowers, two, zero, two, four with Kongs of fours. Because they could be either twos or fours. So for the second hand down, it would be Kong of flowers, Kong of twos, Kong of dragons, and then a two, four, let's say, one or the other, Joker B. So I would not pick a hand. I would just continue to gather because we have discards, but we do have a year hand in here. If you would have played maybe evens, let me know in the comment section below. We have a Joker, pair of flowers, pair of green dragon, red dragon, a West, two BAM, seven BAM pair, four, six, eight in cracks. If these were your tiles, would you force evens or odds? If these were my tiles, I would force odds because we have a pair here and here and here. Five, seven, nine, dragon. Two gaps, but that is the nature of forcing a hand. So let's let that go. Let's pass the two with a six. So we're gonna force big odds. We've got odds. Here's a nine, one. Let's let the one go. We have a dragon and a seven bam pair. Flowers. I don't think that's gonna be helpful at all. Let's do one, one, nine, four. Evens, oh my goodness, okay. Evens, we got evens. I'm gonna stick with multiples. One, two, eight. That'll work just fine. Well, there's a flower and a nine. Since it's an odd, we're gonna just keep it. Let's pass these three. Five. Well, let's keep that for a minute. All right, we have two discards. Right across, left, left. We're going across. So we have to pass three. I think this, well, wait a minute. Let's see. There is an offsuit odd hand with the dragon. Second one from the bottom. Five, seven, seven, nine. It would be five bam, seven bam, seven dot nine dot dragon, but we have to let a pung of dragons go. Let's see, five, seven, nine, five, seven, three, five, multiplication, the hand above it, four flowers, five, seven, five, seven, three, five in cracks. We would need three, five in cracks to make that work. To make the other dragon hand work, we need five bam, nine bam. Let's let that dragon go. This is actually a really good pass. Okay, so now seven, we got the seven. That's not really helpful though, because for the dragon hand, we need a pair. No, we need a pung. Pair, pair, pung, kong, pung. I'm not used to that shape. 
So we need a pair of five bands. Pair of five band. Let's hold this five, because if we get a three dot, we could do five crack, seven band, three five and dots. So let's, let's see here. Five dot nine dot seven band pong. Let's let the nine dot go. We're passing to the right. We could pass blind, but I don't think this is helpful. None of these are helpful at the moment. Not with just one seven and only one five. Oh, we got a three. Five, seven, three, five. Okay, so now this is looking really good. We just need one tile here and then maybe a five crack. So now, do we pass two dragons? I say no. I think this is too weak. We can Kong here, Kong here, but we can't do anything here and we're vulnerable with the five crack. I would pass two and break up that dragon. You might think about Joker bait here, but this early in the game, that is gonna be really hard to get to the middle of the game, which is where you have about 60 tiles remaining. That's the middle of the third wall. So I would let this go to get the opportunity to maybe get a keeper instead of just passing one. Also, when you ask for one tile, a lot of times your opponent will decline that offer because they might assume that you're playing a well-developed hand, so they won't want to give you any help. We're gonna pass two. Okay, so we got a nine crack. That's not helpful though. Okay, so I would, oh, look pretty. I would discard dragons first and then the nine and play multiplication for odds. If you would have done this differently, let me know in the comment section below with force two. We have a dragon, one dragon, one, two, three, four, six, and bands, pair six, three, four, dots, one, two, nine, crack, pump. We're gonna break that up because we gotta force evens. So, there we go. The dragon hand in evens corresponds. This is a discard. So now we gather. I would break up the nine and the one. Maybe even pass the white dragon now so we can have a good pass next in case we get all evens. Oh shoot, this goes. Okay, well that will help us later. So let's see, oh, that's a keeper. Maybe we can, now that we have two threes, we don't need to pass that white dragon just yet. It's a little risky to pass a white dragon because it's a dual tile. You can use it as a dragon or a zero. Oh, yes, we need to pass. A six. Okay, so now we have two ones and two nines, so I would break them up. And then I would probably pass a three. Maybe later one nine with a five. A flower and a four. Oh, we ended up with a pair, but we're forcing evens, so we're going to break it up. Let's see, I think it was like this. It doesn't really matter. A six. 
that's good because we only have, well, now we have all the sixes and a four, and we have three tops passed. Two, four, six, eight, and I wouldn't pick a hand yet. This is a little risky, but I would do it. We've got lots of fodder. We have no eight, so we need to pass fully. We're doing right across left. We're on second left. We have to pass fully. So I would just keep all this and just see what comes in. We're looking for an eight. We got a nine, a seven, and a two. So now we look at the card. So you really don't even have to look at the card until you get low on discards. We need to, let's see, right across left, left. We're going across now. So we have to pass three. So now we look here and whittle something out. We have all keepers here. This is when you look at the card. So we have one flower. I would not pass a flower, but our options are a bit limited with flowers. Fourth hand down and fifth hand down. Four, six, two, four. Let's see, four, six, four, six, two, four. Multiplication. That's pretty good. Wait, four, six, we don't need an eight. Oh my goodness. Wait, is that right? No eight. That's fantastic. No gaps. Okay, the other option would be where we need eights and we have no eights. Third hand, or let's see, the hand below it and then the concealed hand. We have no eights. I would focus here. Four, six, two, four. Okay, so now we need one of these to go. Which one? Let's see, if we maybe look for, let's see, the other multiplication is six, eight, four, eight. No, I'd wanna leverage the four, six. So I would probably keep the, let's see, the two crack, because we could do two, four, six, eight, bam, if we get an eight, bam. Let's see, we wouldn't use the flower in that case. Let's see, the other option would be two, four, six, eight in the middle. Four, six in the middle. So two dot, eight dot, four, six in the middle. Pairs. Let's see here. Two, four, six, eight in one suit. Two, four, six, eight in one suit with flowers. So we can just stop there. Lots of options. Let's pass these. Whoa, we got like numbers and a white dragon. That's terrible. I would not pass that. No. Okay, so now we have to make a choice. I think the best option here is multiplication. No gaps. Four, six, two, four, flower. So... I would probably pass that. There's an eight after all that, but look, we do have two, four, six, eight now. We even have two, four, six, eight. Wow, that worked out really well. Oh my goodness, big surprise. Fantastic. We have two discards for uh, optional across. We even got a six. I would just hold it because it's an even. Well, that's a shocking result. That transformation was huge. Let me know if you would have done something differently. Do we have too many tiles? No, that's the right number. Four on each side, six in the middle for east. That's a quick way to count your tiles. We got a bonus, how to count your tiles quickly. Four from each side, six in the middle. If you're non-dealer, it would be four from each side, five in the middle. And that way you don't have to go one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, here we go. Stevens. oops. Evens. 
what a transformation. Forcing a hand is a great way to get out of your comfort zone. You can do this exercise with tiles at home or you could do it online, but you're gonna to need to create strips with each category so that you can pre-select the categories. When you get your dealt hand, look at the categories you selected and gather tiles for that category. Eventually, you'll be able to create a hand within the category and eventually, and hopefully, mahjong on a new hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.